Hello everyone, welcome to COSA 25, Microsoft Access for Windows. I'm Professor Almeida and I will be your instructor for the course. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with the course so that you can be ready to go and be settled in for your first week. Now, we are using a one-stop shop called Canvas. I've put together a longer video. You can go watch that and then come on back. So without further ado, let me show you how to get started and what to expect in your first week. All right, let's begin with the Long Beach City College website. You can get to it by visiting lbcc.edu. And to get started, you're going to click or tap on the Viking portal. Now, you will need your student ID number and your Viking portal password. Once you are in the portal, you should see a big button for Canvas, and this is your Canvas dashboard. This is what you should see upon logging into your Viking portal and going into Canvas. And hopefully, COSA25 will be there in your dashboard. Again, if you are not familiar with Canvas, watch the orientation video. I'm just going to show you how to get started here. The easiest way to contact me for questions is through the Canvas inbox, also called Canvas Conversations. I do ask that you give me at most 24 to 36 hours to get back to you. All right, let's get into the class here. This is COSA 25, again, Microsoft Access for Windows. And as you can see here, the course starts on March 4th and info will be going out by email during the week of February 26th. So be sure to check your email that is on file with the college. Again, I'm Professor Almeida. You can learn more about me by visiting my website at jpalmeida.com. This is an online asynchronous class. So in other words, we do not have scheduled class meetings. You can visit Canvas at your convenience and your only real requirement is to make sure that you are turning in your assignments on time. Now, I do regularly check for participation. I do have analytics and I can see where everyone is at in the course. So you wanna make sure that you are regularly logging into Canvas and you're interacting with the material. As you scroll down, you will see my student office hours for spring semester and this is your chance to connect with me on the course and the materials. I'm in person Fridays 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and I do have my office posted here but the easiest way to see me in person is to go to our COS computer lab in M229. Okay, so you want to go to M229 and I will be there Friday mornings, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in person. Now on Thursdays, you can drop into the Canvas live chat here and I will be there to take questions from 9 a.m. to noon Pacific time. By the way, you can also use this chat to talk amongst yourselves. And this is one of several lifelines that you have in the class. You could also see here along the left, we have COS tech support. This is what the Canvas shell looks like for that. And if you enroll into the quote unquote class, you'll also be able to connect with our instructional assistants. So if you are running into issues or you would like some assistance with the assignments, you can contact our instructional assistants for help. And you can also go in person to M229 or at the Pacific Coast campus, that's AA206. Okay, the hours are posted uh, on the COS tech support page. You'll also have some resources for navigating online classes like this one. Here's the Quest Online Readiness, along with a link to online learning. This here, where it says Web Asynchronous, this is also a clickable link. You also have the Student Technology Help Desk to assist you with using LBCC technology. Now, this class is called Microsoft Access for Windows, and I do expect that you will have a Windows PC with Microsoft Access installed. Details on how to install Microsoft 365 are in the syllabus, or you can watch this video right here. 
So again, you wanna make sure you have access to a Windows PC, and if you don't have access at home, you wanna to go to the COS Computer Labs on campus or arrange to use a system where you can install the full version of Microsoft 365. So how do you get started with the course? Well, if you scroll down, we have right here how to get started. You want to begin by downloading and reading the course syllabus. Okay, so here's the syllabus. It is your guide to this class and what to expect. And it is very important that you read this syllabus and refer to it throughout the course. Okay, so this is the official syllabus for COSA 25. And again, I trust that you will read this so that you understand what to expect and what is being expected of you. Here are the important dates and deadlines for the class. And again, technology support. Here's some other campus resources. And then I'm gonna scroll through here and it covers my expectations and again, what to expect in the course. And then we'll get to the end here. Here is the week to week schedule. I want you to take the due dates that you see here and plug them into your personal calendar. As a matter of fact, that is the second bullet point right here. Plug all due dates from the syllabus into your calendar. So again, make sure that you do this and it's very important, especially in an online environment, that you stay on top of things in the class because it is very easy to fall behind, especially since we don't have any class meetings together. The third thing to do is to register with SimNet and I've provided an information page here on how this works. You'll see a link to the left to McGraw-Hill SimNet, and you can create an account if you don't have one, or if you already have a SimNet account, you could just sign in. So I have some information here on how to get started. Digital access, if you purchase directly from SimNet, is about $60 plus tax. You can also buy an access card from the bookstore, which is a little bit more. Either way, you want to make sure that you have purchased access to the course. Now, if you cannot purchase right away, you can still sign up for 14 days of courtesy access. I've also provided videos on how to do the various assignments. We don't have SimNet quizzes or exams in COSA 25, but you do have sim books which are the training sims so you want to make sure to watch this video on how to do that i've also provided a video on simnet projects i have put together three walkthroughs on the guided projects you'll see that momentarily here's how to contact mcgraw hill and then finally there's that video on how to install microsoft 365 on your system so be sure to look through all of this and again this is the link on how to get started with simnet here once you are registered once you are registered with simnet all you have to do is just click on the assignment to get started the last thing to do is to check into the discussion forums and introduce yourself and once you've done all this and when you're ready, you can go to the modules page. And this is where you will see the assignments from week to week. Okay, so here's the first week here. You want to click on week one overview, start here. And you'll see that there are two assignments in your first week. This is the chapter one training sim or sim book. And you'll see that it is due in the first week on March 11th. Okay, again, if you take a look at the syllabus here, Monday, March 11th, that is your deadline. So you have a full week to get settled in and to turn in this training sim. It is a participation requirement of everyone, okay? I am trusting that you have registered with SimNet and that you really wanna be in the course. Now, as of this video, there is a pretty long wait list Okay, a lot of people want to get into this class. So it's very important that you complete this chapter one training sim on time. Okay, if you don't complete it, I'm going to assume that you're no longer interested in the class. And unfortunately, you will be dropped so that room can be made for those who are waitlisted. Okay, so if you want to be in the class, make sure that you get that chapter one training sim turned in on time. You also have your first guided project okay with the guided projects they do walk you through the steps on how to do certain things now i've provided a video for you to watch on how to complete guided project 1-2 
So you want to make sure to watch that video. And again, get settled in with SimNet. Make sure that you have Microsoft 365 installed on your system so that you can complete this project. Okay, so those are your two assignments in the first week. And then for those who like to work ahead, you'll see that week two will be open and you'll simply have two independent projects to work on. So that is pretty much it as far as getting settled into the course. Again, welcome aboard to COSA 25. Thank you for watching this video. Let's have a good 12 weeks together and I'll see you around.